The left tackle blocking nobody. The center is blocking nobody. We have six blockers, five rushers, and somehow we still get a guy coming in free. And you can see once again, we got two guys blocking nobody. That's why this is one of the best blitzes in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another defensive play for you guys today from the same playbook I put out every single play this year. I've been rocking the Dolphins slash Giants uh, defensive ebook that I put out since the beginning of the season. It's the meta book. It has just about every single defensive play and defensive formation we want. And today, I'm going to give you guys another blitz and another pass defense and another pretty decent run defense to go along with it. As always, though, if you guys want to see a uh, you know more out of this, I could do a full breakdown of this defense. And every month, I put out a full breakdown. If you want to see Miami Dolphins defensive ebook uh, next month, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, the formation is the two four five out of the nickel. You can find this on a lot of different formations. And the play I'm going to show you guys, you can probably find out of a lot of different defensive playbooks as well. And that's the Buck Slant three. A couple years ago, the Buck Slant three was like one of the meta uh, plays when it comes to defense, and it's still one of the best blitzes in the game. Especially if you're going against somebody who likes to block their running back. Um, this is a really good blitz against defenses like that. Now, you just want to make sure that your slot corner is one of your fastest cornerbacks or safeties. And then you also want to make sure that uh, this guy here, I mean, I typically have at least one linebacker that can stay in the formation. Typically, my user, uh, Baker, is pretty fast. But you can put a safety at these linebacker spots. So if you want to, you could run uh, all safeties uh, and all cornerbacks uh, if you have enough. If you play, you know, mutt, typically, that would probably be the best idea. So if you have a lot of extra safeties, you can always put them at these linebacker spots. Now, as far as my audibles go, I would definitely have... Have cup for quarters in there. That's probably gonna be my best run defense. Overstorm Brave is probably gonna be one of the better uh, all out man blitzes. Uh, the Nickel Blitz 2 is a video, like I said, I put that out not too long ago. It's a good outside run defense. It's also a very good blitz. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. And then the Bucks Land 3, which is what I'm going to go over today. The Bucks Land 3, like I said, this is probably the best blend of run and pass defense and blitz. You really can get uh, the most bang for your buck out of this play, and you're only really going to be sending five defenders. So this will be the four plays. If you guys want to see a full scheme out of this playbook, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. So we're going to go over and pick the Bucks Land 3 on offensive side. We're just going to go random bunch. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support the channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out and use discount code EMAIL. That's right. They changed it up. They're actually giving you guys 6% off right now if you use discount code EMAIL rather than my traditional uh, discount code, which was money. So if you want to get 6% off, use discount code EMAIL. You get 6% off everything on their website. Now, one of the best ways to run this to me is slant your defensive line inside. And then you want to want to put your X uh, defensive end on a bluff blitz. That's all I'm really going to do. Then I'm going to bring my, my, my user here, put him on a blitz, come right over the center, and I'm going to work my way back into the left once the play starts because I want to basically pull away uh, from this cornerback. You see, we actually get two guys in. That's one of the things about this play is you have two looping pressure blitz plays. Now, one of the things that makes uh, blocking so good in Madden these days than in previous years is the ability for linemen to switch uh, defensive linemen and blitzers off. They basically pass them off from one guy to the next. And that's really what makes this play so glitchy. Is there's so much chaos going on over on this side that a lot of times they'll make too many switches because they don't know what they're looking at. So you're going to watch Brown here. He switches off. He basically passes off the first guy. Then he passes off the second guy to nobody because he expects the running back to be available, I guess. The running back takes out the cornerback, but you can see how Brown here, like he doesn't know what's going on. He just basically does a double switch and ends up blocking nobody. He just lets the linebacker get straight through. So a lot of times the cornerback will come in unblocked, especially if there's no running back blocking. But if the running back is blocking, a lot of times they'll switch to a point where they basically just let the linebacker come in free, making this one of the glitchier blitzes in the game. So slant inside. Like I said, that's all you gotta do. And we're gonna bluff. Bluff our, our defensive end, come over the center, 
create chaos. And like I said, I'm just going to basically back away to the left and just let these switches happen. Woo! Boom, the cornerback comes in straight because we had no blitz. We had no running back block in that time. That's typically the way that it goes. So slant inside, which is, like I said, I think I said in the original, you're going to do up on the right sticks, down the right stick, slant side. Then we're going to bluff blitz, come right over the center with our user. And like I said, this will help in, in passing or in running plays as well. And we're just going to basically just drop out there. We actually looked like we had like three guys. Like I didn't cover well because I, I tried to cover the running back late. It looks like we have number one. They let the defensive end go again. Look at this. There's three guys. I thought it was a, I thought they were running a screen play for a second because I saw there's three guys coming unabated to the quarterback. I literally thought it was a screenplay. I was like, oh, here comes the screenplay. And then boom, they got three guys coming in on the same play. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, slant inside because ultimately we're trying to create havoc inside. We're trying to force this defensive, this offensive line to create a lot of switch pressure. And that's basically why I'm coming down right over the center here because, and I, it even works better if I get this arrow pointing in this direction. That's kind of important. So guest pass is one of the things I keep forgetting to do, but we're gonna create a lot of switches here by basically backing away. We actually got a run play, which like I said, because I'm creating so much havoc, guys come free a lot of times, the run's gonna get stuffed a lot in the direction of these shotgun plays. That's pretty much just how it works. So one more time we're gonna slant inside gonna put our guy on a bluff and we're just gonna come down right over this center like I said if I could have this uh, this arrow pointing in this direction I think that's bonus points and then guess pass because I keep forgetting the guess pass so let's go let's do this hopefully I mean I'm guessing pass I'm still having a lot of success on running defense and then we get the cornerback that was another play where the running back was blocking because I saw he took out the a gap guy like I said this a gap guy does get picked up on the play action by the running back so once again five rushers six linemen this the center's blocking nobody that's on me like I said that's part of the reason I I, I just play patty cake with him I press on him and go and he's blocking nobody so we have I mean at the very least look we have two guys blocking I didn't even see win over there wins blocking nobody and that's about the that's what the bluff blitz is for the bluff blitz is for him to basically just get this left tackle blocking nobody. So left tackle blocking nobody. The center is blocking nobody. We have six blockers, five rushers, and somehow we still get a guy coming in free. That's why this is one of the best blitzes in the game. There's a lot of other things you can do too. Like if you want to slide the defense or shift the defense in the direction of the blitzing cornerback, um, if you want to, you know, you can pinch the defense, although that brings the quarterback down, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, but this is pretty much, you know, you can try things like this to try to get even more switches inside, more pressure. Although there, obviously, shifting is going to help with the run defense as well. If you want to shift the entire defense in the direction of the, uh, the blitzing quarterback, I find that can have some success. But if you're going to do that, I feel like you really have to come all the way over here to try to bring the uh, the offensive line, uh, spread them as much as much as you can. Because ultimately, this is going to be more about that cornerback. As you can see there, he got him free. We get an easy interception because Mac Jones just basically threw it up into a crowd. But that was all because of the blitzing cornerback. And it looked like we had the blocking running back once again, but it didn't matter. The blocking running back picked up that A-gap one more time. As you can see, the cornerback's coming in free. He's right in Matt Jones' ear. And you can see, once again, we got two guys blocking nobody. Because, like I said, this is one of the glitchiest blitzes in the game. You have the entire left side of the offensive line because of me. And because of the uh, the bluff blitz, just standing around with their hands in their pockets while this cornerback comes in free. If that cornerback was faster, he probably would have got the sack. Keep shifting my D and keep doing it this way. Like I said, it, 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 bottom line is we're always getting free guys. That's the thing. We're always getting at least Woo! one free guy. There, the cornerback actually stops them. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more defensive videos, as always, I can do a full scheme out of this defense because it is, uh, I've already put out several plays. So if you want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.